I'm going to get my chicken salad sandwich. Uh, anyway, hey, uh, it's great to see everyone here today. Uh, you know, Bud's alluding to a couple things that I think is really important. You know, a couple weeks ago, we, a week ago, we played at UNC Charlotte. And first half, we were down by 24. And, uh, you know, cut it back to seven. Had three chances to cut it to three. But... You know, I know where he's coming from in the sense that I, I think you really don't find out who you are when you're coaching and who your team is until you really hit adversity because you're going to hit it. I talk about it every year. Uh, you know, I think it's quite honestly it's one of the reasons that we won the Big South Conference tournament last year and went to the NCAA tournament because uh, you're going to hit a lot of speed bumps along the way. You're going to have people get hurt. You're going to have injury, or injury. You're going to have maybe kids that have a bad night, and I really think that in this business, I know I said it after the Charlotte game, and I, I feel like it. But in this business, in a lot of ways, you you fight for your life every night. I tell my kids, I said my my career is based on 30 nights. So if I seem a little antsy, you understand why. And uh, but with our team, I, I'm I'm proud of what we've done the last week. Uh, you know, we played at Charlotte, and everybody went up. I appreciate you coming up there. I thought we, I thought we had a tremendous comeback. And uh, I'll be the first to tell you, I am not a good interview after a loss. Uh, it, it's just the way it is. You know, I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, that's okay. Show me a good loser, and I'll show you a loser. So, uh, but anyway, uh, I was really proud of the way that we fought back. I thought that we showed a lot of determination. I, th I thought we showed a lot of guts. Uh, on Sunday, we had a huge win for those that were there. You know, Jack talked about it. Uh, Jacksonville had won six games in a row. Uh, I saw, you know, they beat Auburn, which he alluded to. Uh, the Florida Gulf Coast, they were up 18-2 to two in the first half. The only game they lost was to Miami, and they didn't get a real good <coughs> whistle. So I was really proud of our kids. I thought we competed for 40 minutes, you know, and that was the thing we had talked about. And as Bud talked about it is uh, I did everything I could do to make them angry on Friday and Saturday. You know, you try to hit the right buttons, and, uh, you know, I thought we hit the buttons in practice on, on Saturday. It was our most competitive practice. But a couple things came out. Robbie Dreer had a tremendous game. He had 18. Uh, I thought that uh, Charles Corbin, his second game back, you know, Charles had 11 rebounds in 17 minutes. So I was very pleased with the way that he played. Uh, Andre Jones had 10. And I thought that uh, you know, Reggie Middleton had 9. George Valentine had 12 points and 9 rebounds. And for those of us in here, if you're a purist, you really have to appreciate George. He was a rebound away from having his third double-double. But he does so much for our team in terms of helping us to win games. So uh, I can't, I'm just really ecstatic about the game. Now, we have issues just like everybody else. Like when we all work, we go back and we all got to say, okay, you know, we got to evaluate our business. So here's our evaluation. Right now, you know, we've got Dayton and Kentucky coming up. I'll address that. But in the games that, for example, that we have lost, and well, it's the games that we have won, the common denominator is our opponent doesn't shoot 40%. So against Jacksonville, we shoot 44%. Jacksonville shoots 36 That is an outstanding number nationally. Now, what it doesn't say is they went to the line 24 times. Against uh, VMI, we shot 38%, they shot 34%. That was like the two battles of the guy that couldn't shoot the gun straight. Okay, so against Liberty, Liberty shoots 44%, we shoot 38%, and I'm, or 40, I think it's like, I can't read my, or Charlotte shot 44, Liberty shot 42. So we're a team that if we can hold our opponent under 40%, we've really got a great chance to win the game. When our opponent shoots more than 40%, then we're, we're, we got our hands full. Now, our other issue is, is, is second chance points. If you watched us against Jacksonville, 
we gave up 20 points off second chance opportunities. VMI, we gave up seven. Against Liberty, we gave up 21 points off second chance opportunities. So one of our issues is we've got to rebound better. So that's something that we're going to focus on, you know, once we get back into practice. Uh, so we're talking about that. Uh, you know, make adjustments. I learned the other day, try not to let Robbie inbounds the ball. So I made that change during the game. Uh, you know, we are looking at some things that we have to do, I think, to uh, continue to get better. We don't post up very well at all. We don't screen very well at all. What we do do is we spread the floor and we drive you very well. So I think what we're all trying to do as a team is try to identify the things that we have to get better at. That, to me, is what makes this makes this profession great is uh, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You know, it's it's the, the, the coaches that can, in January, what's the relationship between me and my staff and our team? You know, if you don't have a good relationship with your team, it doesn't matter what you know. And uh, the thing that I try to work on is when we get to February, are we getting better? So I'm excited about us. Uh, you know, uh, you saw our league has had a great non-conference. Coastal last night went down to beat LSU by nine in overtime down there. They got Mike Holmes eligible. He had 14 and 10. Uh, you know, so you know, so they beat them. Obviously, we beat Wake Forest. So there's been some very good wins. Uh, Gardner Webb beat UNC Charlotte early. So we've had a lot of good wins in our league. Uh, lastly, if you're not doing anything next Monday, we're going to be playing at Dayton. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> we're looking forward to it. You know, Dayton seats 14,000 people. It'll be sold out. The reason I want to play is because it's a great place to play. Uh, not alone, they're writing a pretty good check. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, it's a great place to play. Uh, they, their fans are great. And, uh, you know, I just kind of want to go back. You know, they were very good last year. They beat North Carolina in the NIT. Uh, they've lost five seniors. That's one of the things I try to do in scheduling is I try to see who's going to graduate seniors. You know, when you do that, you pull up everybody's roster. They lose five to seven seniors. So, but they got a great name. Uh, I'm really excited about it. And then on Wednesday, we play uh, Kentucky at 1 o'clock. It's interesting. It's a Wednesday game, but because it's Christmas, you know, they, they'll play at 1 o'clock. And I think it will be full because... A lot of times the fans that don't get a chance to come to their regular season games, they'll open that game up. And so uh, I know that they were one game away from the elite, uh, from the Final Four, but quite honestly, who cares? You know, uh, I'm looking forward to having an opportunity to play in those teams. Uh, on paper, you'd say, hey, your chances look pretty tough, but it, it really it doesn't matter. You know, it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, I, you know, Bud and I talked about this, and this is something that's really important. If you don't play good teams, you never know who you are. You know, we could come out and play teams that aren't very good. But what happens is, is when you get to January 1st and you're leave, you don't realize that, like for us, we got issues rebounding the ball. You know, so we know that. You know, we have issues guarding the ball. So those are things that we're going to work on, and I'm excited about it. I uh, appreciate everybody coming in here and, and uh, supporting Winthrop University. We, we got a great thing going, and the one thing I want to encourage us all to do is we, we got to get people out. You know, we got to work to get people to come see both of our teams play. Uh, these kids work hard. Kids are in exams right now, you know. Uh, they, 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 they do the right things, and so we certainly hope that you guys will sort of continue to support us. Hope everyone has a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and uh, if you have any questions.